All right, what's up guys? I'm going to quickly talk about some of the methods you can use while you're in bot lobbies on how to improve your aim. Uh, one of the things you're going to be able to do while being able to shoot bots is just practice different ways to aim and different methods you can use to improve it. Uh, one of the things you can do is um, just start practicing on locking in on people before you actually begin shooting them. So instead of seeing somebody, right, a lot of people... Uh, newer players will see somebody in the distance or in front of them and when you see them you go in aiming right you'll go in aiming and then try and move your stick to get on top of them in that aspect but realistically that is not the way you want to do it so you see perfect example right there because I took my time in doing so I ended up dying and I like same thing right there I end up getting shot so what are you gonna want to do is whenever you're rolling around the map you're going to want to, you see this reticle in the middle between these four crosshairs, you're going to want to line that up before you actually start shooting. And the way to start doing that proficiently and doing it quicker is to work on something we call centering, which is pretty much keeping your uh, reticle centered, okay, at all times on your screen. And the way you know you're centering correctly is if you see a difference between me doing this right here, and the difference between me doing this right here, you know what centering is. You know that the first time, the reticle was aiming at the ground. So let's say someone was coming around this corner right here. You're going to notice I would have to move. You see, like I'd have to move up in, able, in order to shoot them. Whereas if I was centered properly, like in this case right here, I don't have to move my reticle at all. Okay? So that's going to be the difference. What you're going to want to do is keep your reticle up. And so what that's going to do right is you're going to be able to melt people okay without making maximum effort you're going to be able to use minimal effort and it's going to be maximum efficiency so the way you want to work on centering as you saw i did hip fire earlier is if you hip fire all of your kills right you're forcing yourself to center at all times because the way centering works is you're using the reticle all these, all these shots are going to be going between where these uh, crosshairs are. So now you're going to be forced to center because all the opponents are at centering type of height. So now, once you continue to do this and you work on centering and you keep hip firing your kills, right? Now, all you have to do is adjust and hit L, uh, your aim down sight button. So as you can see... What that's going to do is it's going to shorten the time it takes... I'm getting stunned. It's going to shorten the time it takes... For you to actually, instead of just aiming in and then shooting, you could aim in and shoot at the same time. It takes milliseconds off your gunfights and you start looking like you're shredding when all you're doing is basic fundamentals in the game. So that's just a nice trick you want to do. So just to go through it, we'll do it for like a minute or two while I explain the next thing. Just uh, real quick, once again, you're going to keep yourself centered. You're going to start hip firing all your kills, just like so. And now in your next engagements... All you're going to have to do, well, he was super close, so there was no need for me to aim in. Uh, we're going to look. There's a guy over here in the corner. You just have to, wow, I just got shredded. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, I'm actually back on console to show this example because I don't have multiplayer on PC. I don't know if I will get it because like, it's like still $60 or something for like an out-of-date uh, Call of Duty title, which is not what I'm trying to do. So... Like I said, all you're going to have to do since you're centered is just hit your aim down sight, but aim down sight button and just start shooting and being able to track them if they're moving, etc. The next thing I want to talk about is no aim assist. It will say no aim assist helps your aim a lot. And the way you're going to want to do that is go down and your controller, go to weapons, go to aim assist and hit disable. You're going to want to keep this on whatever it is because it's not going to matter since aim assist is disabled now the way you're going to want to practice with a uh, disabled aim assist okay you're going to want to work on minuscule movements this is where your dead zone may come in if you have like a really low dead zone you're going to notice the fine movements because you're going to move your right stick real slightly you see it's moving like this you're going to feel that immensely whenever you're shooting and you're aimed in. So what you're going to want to do is learn how to control that. If you can't control it, as you saw there, like I was kind of what we call windshield wiping. Because you look like a windshield wiper when you're moving at that speed. I do believe I have the bots at a uh, mixed. 
so not the best option if you're working on no aim assist training you're probably going to want them on recruit so you can actually work on the aim without working on them actually shredding you like this guy has been in a corner with the lmg like i don't understand it's a bots like they made the bots like actual people that we call bots so unfortunate right there but um you're gonna have no aim assist um you're gonna have aim assist disabled and what you're gonna do is work on as you can see sometimes if people are stationary since the gun moves you don't want to move your right stick too much you can actually do something called strafing which is just using your left stick to move left and right and that way you keep pretty steady aim without having to manually move your right stick too much so like right here let's see if we could find see he's not moving i'm just gonna start strafing left and right wow this guy just slide canceled and shit on me it's the same de la garza you know but um we're gonna try this again we're gonna keep doing it uh eventually you're gonna start getting the hang of it so for some of you you're gonna say damn i suck and others others might say damn like how are you still hitting your shots with no aim assist i used to do this a lot I, I haven't I, I haven't picked up a controller in maybe two weeks because of the um I've been resting because I've been having like carpal tunnel and all that kind of good stuff you know old age and all that but this is what you're gonna do and you don't have to do this for too long what you what what you're gonna look for okay this is what I want you to look for I want you to feel out the fact like right there I feel I felt real comfortable with those shots. Like right now, I'm feeling real good. Despite having no aim assist, I feel like my aim is doing real good right now. So what you can do is once you start to feel that, okay, you don't want to overexert the fact that you have the no aim assist. Uh, just go back, turn it back on, and you're going to notice, put it back on standard. Okay, you're going to notice immediately that the aim assist, how sticky it feels. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. It's going to make you feel like you have aimbot, okay? And now... A lot of the people, you know, you might be at home saying, well, I do this with uh, headshots only. That's the next step you would want to take is try doing this with headshots only and start mastering that. So that way your aim becomes even super fine tuned and, and like so potent that you'll only be hitting headshots. And that's how you see a lot of the guys we watch, a lot of the best players in the game. They have such good aim. They practice this. Don't think that the aim comes naturally. There's only so much you can do with natural talent. It has to be honed in and you got to own up to it. And the best way to do that is to practice. So there's going to be a lot of downtime for some of you. And maybe some of you don't have any downtime. But the time that you do have and you want to get better, if you truly have that desire to get better, you're going to want to you're going to want to practice. OK, you're going to want to practice and you're going to want to do some of these methods. You're going to want to learn how to center properly. Keep that vertical up okay hip fire some of these kills you know i did this once the first time i learned out about this i think i went a thousand straight bots just by hip firing like this because i enjoyed it and uh the next thing would be turning off aim assist and then t trying that without i'm sorry without uh with headshots only enabled and that's going to be some of the things right there i did record this like four times and I was trying to get it to where I can like translate this to my PC and then have like my webcam up and use my actual microphone and all that. But I wasn't able to do it. So this is going to be the the raw version of it, I guess you could say. No cuts, no takes. Aside from the fact that I did it four times, I guess you could consider those takes. But we're not going to talk about it as long as I don't talk about it and you don't talk about it. We'll be fine. We'll be Gucci. So that's just some of the training methods that I have. Um, I would do some more in-depth ones. But I'm going to have to wait and see how they do. Some of them I might actually just do live on stream. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. Please turn tune in. Uh, streaming schedule is kind of chalk, sort of. But I do always try and stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I will see you guys on stream, hopefully. Love each and every one of you. And goodbye.